Hey guys, we have here the JBL Vibe Beam and in this video we want to explain to you how to pair these wireless earbuds to your Windows computer. Now the first thing we have to do is to activate the Bluetooth pairing mode on the earbuds. Now in case your earbuds are still brand new, all you have to do is take them out of the charging case and they are automatically going to activate the Bluetooth pairing mode. But chances are we have previously paired our earbuds with, for example, our smartphone already. In that case, we have to now manually activate the Bluetooth pairing mode. And we know that the Bluetooth pairing mode is active when this LED on the top of the earbuds is blinking rapidly in blue. And all we have to do now is to tap the side of the earbuds once and then tap and hold for about 5 seconds. So you see I've tapped it once and then now I'm pressing and holding the side until the LED here on the top starts rapidly blinking in blue. That means the earbuds are now in the Bluetooth pairing mode and we're going to check on the other earbud that this is doing the same thing as well. And with that we can for now put our earbuds to the side and now we're going to switch to our Windows computer. In this case this is a laptop but it works the same way with any desktop as well. And here we're going to go into the lower left corner of the screen and you're going to see here there it says type here to search and we're going to uh, click on this field and in here we're going to start typing Bluetooth. So and one of the top results will be here the very first item that is Bluetooth and other device settings. So let us click on that. And in the following screen the first thing we have to do is to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled. So right now you see here Bluetooth is turned off so let us click on that switch in order to turn it on. And then towards the top we see that plus symbol to add a new Bluetooth device. So let us click on this here and this will bring up this little pop-up and here the very first item in this list. We're going to click on this and then the computer is going to start searching for new audio devices. So in here we already have the JBL Vibe Beam and it says it's an audio device so we want to select this. Just in case you find another Bluetooth device that's called JBL Vibe Beam and then something like BTLE, then you do not want to select this, that one. You want to select this one here that only says JBL Vibe Beam. And once we click on it, it only takes a couple of seconds in order to successfully pair our computer to our earbuds. And now at this point, the pairing process is complete and we can click on done in the lower right corner. And then we can also see now some additional information. So you can see here the earbuds are able to play music, and we can also, for example, use them for Zoom voice calls. And also we can see here the battery percentage that's left in the earbuds. Now in case your computer has problems with finding the earbuds and you just can't see them in that list when it's searching for it, then I suggest you first try to restart your computer and start over with the Bluetooth pairing process. If that doesn't work, then I would go here in the upper left corner where it says find a setting and we're going to type in there updates and that will take us to the software update page and we're just making sure that we have the latest Windows software drivers and everything works as it should. You see here where it says check for updates, we're going to click on that and now the computer is going to search on the internet if there's anything new that would fix our problem. And now here's one more important piece of information in case you're planning on using your earbuds with more than one device. So. It's only possible to pair or to connect your JBL Vibe Beam earbuds to one device at a time. So either here right now my smartphone or my Windows computer. So right now the uh, earbuds are already connected to my iPhone here. And if I try to connect them as well at the same time to my Windows computer, then this is going to fail because there is only the option to connect them to one device at a time. So now in order to switch the connection of my earbuds from the smartphone to the computer, I'm going to disable Bluetooth on my smartphone first and then I'm going to press connect on my computer. And of course the same is true if our earbuds are currently connected to our computer and we're trying to connect, it, connect them to our smartphone, then uh, we wouldn't be able to connect them on the smartphone unless we uh, disabled them or disconnected the earbuds from the computer. Okay, so this was already it for the video. I hope you found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below.